Okay, so uh, yeah, the talk is called Offline and Trustless, Trustless, uh, the future and within browser IPFS gateways, and it's kind of gonna, we're gonna, uh, I only have seven slides, so it's not an impressive slide presentation. I'm hoping to make up for that with my presence up here. Um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's basically, we're gonna talk about the service worker gateway, really, is what we're gonna do. And so you guys can access this now. I do want to let you know that it's alpha, you know, it's beta, really, but I'm gonna tell you all it's alpha and for future viewers, but you can access it. There's the, the GitHub URL, uh, but uh, we've taken Helia verified fetch and I'll touch that in a minute um, and basically deployed it in a service worker and put it at this URL. We also have a dot dev where we're going to do, you know, more frequent releases. Um, and it's, we're, we're not trying to make this a turnkey solution. This is more of an example of what is possible with verified fetch and, and uh, you know, Helia, J, uh, JS lib P2P in the browser. So things do work fairly well. You can try it out now and I've got a demo I hope to show you guys here in a little bit. Um, but we like right now are considering this alpha and uh, I still have like two or three PRs that I haven't merged that I wanted to before this. So um, we've got some changes coming, but it works, it works pretty well today. So uh, I don't want the description to be, you know, I didn't want to um, uh, lie on the description. So this is basically the description talked about like the challenges we've overcome. I think Alex covered a lot of that in the state of uh, IPFS, JS and IPFS. Um, so, um, but I'm going to keep this talk short and maybe play with the demo a little bit and show you guys kind of where, what we're doing with the service worker gateway, what we're thinking. But, um, you know, we've, we've got the trustless gateways. That's pretty new. I think since the last camp, they were started back then, but not really super useful. And now they, they are a lot more useful. We've got delegated routing, web transports more available now. I think at the last camp web, web transport was available or became available recently after that. But the bar that Alex showed just a second ago was like way at the bottom. We had maybe a few hundred nodes and now it's like 5,000, 10,000. So that's pretty good. Um, but uh, yeah, circuit relay improvements. Alex has been really diving in on JS lib P2P. That's been great. Um, and then Helia verified fetch and, and the service worker UX are, you know, a lot of things that we've kind of done in the last year. Uh, I think a year and a half ago, we did do sort of the service worker gateway demo. Um, so if you guys remember that, um, it's, it's come a long way since then, but we do still have some things that we need to address. We need, we want and need better direct retrieval support. Um, you know, that was touched on a little bit too, but right now the service worker gateway is using trustless gateways to basically fetch the content from a server, uh, and we'd like you to be able to like use IPFS decentralized, like everybody wants it to be, you know, we want to use the network, the DHT and be able to get it from anywhere. So that's, that's one thing we are really wanting to happen. So hopefully, um, any go devs out there, gophers, like work, help out with WebRTC. Um, and then there's some UX improvements, some things you'll, you'll see in the demo here in a little bit. There's some, there's some touch ups we can do, but, um, and some edge cases and things like that, but. Um, we'll cover that. And then the, for the future, like, uh, one thing we really want to do is take IPFS companion and make it a little more, uh, self-contained instead of it accessing a Kubo node, the service worker itself is basically an IPFS gateway. So once we get that fully fleshed out, IPFS companion will basically be its own gateway running in your browser. And once direct retrieval and everything is there, it's like, you don't need to connect it to your Kubo node. You just have your browser extension running on any site. Um, but also for, for DAP developers or people who have their own websites, being able to take the service worker gateway code or Helio verified fetch, you can, you know, take that today and write your own service worker gateway. But um, we want to make it easier for you to plug in your own IPFS fetching functionality. Like, you know, that'd be cool. Um, co-hosting trustless IPFS sites, like once direct retrieval is there and you're on a site 
and hosting that content with the service worker with a peer to peer node, you know, that will help serve that site for a super populated, you know, super popular site. You got a thousand visitors every minute or something, you know, they will be on that site for 30 seconds or so. If that's the case for your website, you know, a service worker gateway where you're hosting IPFS content will all of your users will help during those hotspots of, of uh, use. Um, and more with your help, contribute. You know, we're all over GitHub and stuff. So um, I didn't actually go over my name at all. But yeah, my name's Russell, so hello. Uh, I like to ramble and forget to introduce myself. I'll ask you what your name is and won't tell you mine. That's an accident. Um, but yeah, Sergeant Pookie everywhere online. Uh, yeah, so Helio Verified Fetch is, is like 95% of what the, the service worker gateway is. It's like most of it is in the Helio Verified Fetch code. So you can pull that down today and fetch content. It's, um, it's pretty cool. Um, what else I got here? Yeah, you can run that in your app today. It verifies the data for you. So, um, you know, it's trustless and um, with the service worker gateway, instead of you going to IPFS.io, fetching the content and, you know, trusting us to do the right thing, which, you know, we, we think we are, but, you know, there's no way to really prove that. Like with verified fetch and with the service worker gateway, that code is all available. You can run it yourself and you can verify that the hash you're requesting is actually returned to you. Um, and doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, that, the linked blog post there goes into more depth. I think Daniel wrote that one, so that's um, pretty great there, talking about verified fetch and all the things that that, that covers. Uh, let me see, seven minutes. I am running long. I'm glad I only did seven slides. Um, so yeah, here's, so the, the service worker gateway, you can install it as a progressive web app. There's two images there of, of them running. Uh, one is the, um, yeah, the spec site, and I kind of show you the config page there a little bit. And then the other one is Vitalik's blog. Um, yeah, there's that. And then I've got some links over here, uh, if I get this right. Yeah, so Big Buck Bunny site. Um, let's see if we can pull that down. This is live right now. So Big Buck Bunny, we're gonna probably load that in the background here. Oh, service worker gateway. That is fetched from the service worker in the browser. Boom. I was, what was that? Did anybody count that? Were you able to count it quick enough or was it too fast? Because that, that was pretty fast. Uh, yeah. So this is in browser.link. You know, this is the blog post. Here is the blog post, you know, from web two, just accessing the DNS server and then serving that content. This is the same thing served from the browser. And you can see, you know, that's, that's the blog there. So if we actually go back, to the actual blog, we can go load something else. State of dApps on IPFS, trust versus verification. This is another good one that kind of covers a lot of the stuff we're trying to do with the service worker gateway. And this is all still just this single uh, service worker that's at this particular domain. Because service worker, you can only have one service worker per, per origin. Um, and yeah, I can, I can simulate that if I can actually, let's see here, network, and then, or why am I doing that? Yeah, yeah, there we go, boom. And then, yeah, but yeah, I'll go ahead and refresh. And does it work offline? This one does. Where's the verified fetch? Here we go. This one I already loaded before. Boom. I'm offline. So, there. Yeah, so I wanted to, I wanted to just show you guys the landing page just for a second. Uh, I'm pretty much at time, but... What? <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the landing page is here. We've got some links and a little description. Um, there's config, which needs needs a little bit of work, but um, auto reload, uh, the save config button uh, does not always close it. I was supposed to add an X and had some things happen, but um, 
but yeah, it, it works. You can configure your own trustless gateways. Once direct retrieval is there, it will just connect to any nodes it can find, which it does find quickly thanks to a lot of Alex's work on JS lib P2P. So really cool stuff. Uh, and let me just move on to the next slide so I can close out. That was pretty much it. Yeah, so I'm very familiar with this. And yeah, thank you for coming. Thank you any future video viewers. Hopefully I gave you enough eye contact wherever you are. Um, and uh, yeah, try out in browser.link, check us out on GitHub, and um, yeah, IP Shipyard, give us some fun so we can do more cool stuff. <laughs>